team deathmatch. Hello, this is G-Man. Uh, happy Easter, everyone. I hope you got the Easter egg to your after. Um, I actually had to buy my own this year, because, uh, my dear old mother forgot. Um, that's no biggie, though. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, this is the first video I've posted up in a long time, because I've had a load of work to do. I still do have work to do. I just managed to find a... A moment to play some Call of Duty. Um, happened to record it and had a lot of fun, so I thought I'd post it up. Because uh, it's not a particularly good game, I get a pretty decent re ratio. <laughs> ratio. Um, but yeah, it was mainly just because I was having a lot of fun uh, because I love Underpass. <laughs> I know a lot of people that hate this map, but I can't figure out why. Um, I guess I like it because it. Um, it caters to my playstyle. Uh, you can kind of be a sneaky, sneaky person on this map with with a silencer. Um, and cold-blooded if you really want to be hardcore about it. Um, yeah, I've been playing quite a lot of hardcore recently. Um, and I would post up some games, but <laughs> the scores haven't been, uh, haven't been worth watching, really. So once I get better at it, I guess I'll post some videos up. But yeah, I'm, uh, I'm using the M4 in this game. Um, which has has always been my favorite gun. Um, I just kind of... I guess I cheated on it with the ACR for a little bit. <laughs> but um, but yeah, I've always liked the M4. It's just kind of... it's always been a little underpowered. Um, especially in this game. Uh, in Call of Duty 4 it, it wasn't the, the starting gun, which, which it is in this. Um, and so I guess a lot of people don't use it because you start off with it and so it's assumed that uh, the the other guns that you unlock later on must be better, but I don't think so. Um, it's kind of underpowered, but once you have stopping power on, it's um, it can hold its own. You just need to get a, a couple shots in. Um, a silencer doesn't really help the uh, the fact that it's it's not got much damage, but uh, I don't know. I just like kind of the way it looks and stuff. It's a sexy gun, <laughs> but um, yeah. I'm, I'm kind of enjoying it. Uh, one of the things I wanted to talk about in this video was drop shots, which is exactly what I did there. Um, saw the guy running towards me. Um, I probably could have won that firefight uh, stood up because he was sprinting, but I just felt like going prone and doing a drop shot. Um, and what it does is it, uh, it makes you go as quick as possible from the highest profile position you can have, which is standing up, to the lowest profile position which is obviously going prone. Um, and if someone's trying to aim at you and you suddenly go real low profile, um, <coughs> ooh, excuse me, you instantly get an advantage up on them because especially if they're using a gun with lots of muzzle flash, um, so if they're spraying away and they've, they've got lots of muzzle flash blocking what they're actually aiming at, um, it can be real confusing when they just suddenly stop getting the hit markers um, and then you have basically a free shot of them. <laughs> this Harrier is ridiculous. I didn't realize the direction that it was going to come from. Um, I don't know, is there a system? I, I've never been able to figure it out, but... Oh, I didn't think that would have got me. <laughs> if anything, it should have got this guy that, um, that just got got here. But, yeah. So, drop shots on PC are kind of easy, because... Um, I think by default, it's, uh, it's mapped to control which is is easy for your pinky just to reach out and tap um, if you need to. Uh, the the console on the other hand, either PS3 or Xbox, um, can be a little trickier if you're not using the tactical button layout. Um, and the the tactical button layout means that it swaps the right stick uh, controls, which is knife by default, to circle, or whatever that would be on the Xbox. I don't know, I'm just going to call it circle. <laughs> um, yeah, so, by default, when you want to do a drop shot, you have to take your thumb off the aimy stick to to drop down, which means that you have to stop aiming. So, unless you get it... unless they're in your sights when you go down, and then start shooting, you're going to miss. Um, so, Having the tactical button layout means that you can just hold down the right stick and still aim at the same time because your thumbs are already on the in the right place. <laughs> um, I was kind of slow on the uptake there. I think I was checking my phone or something at that point actually. 
Um, but yeah, it was a Kimbo Glocks, and uh, I need to fucking go from this game because it's just ridiculous. Um, I thought when this game came out that the secondary weapons were overpowered and ridiculous anyway. Um, a secondary weapon should, in my opinion, should always just be a pistol. But you can get shotguns, machine guns, rocket launchers, and uh, and akimbo stuff, which really pisses me off because I don't know it's just it's not military accurate, and it's it's unrealistic. And they said that they were going to balance out the the blatant overpoweringness <laughs> with um, the fact that they're inaccurate, which they kind of are, but that's so easy to combat just by using steady aim and people do it's, people use akimbo glocks with steady aim as like as a fucking primary weapon and uh... it really pisses me off because it's just not fun i mean they don't have to look down the sights to aim and be real accurate um, which is a problem with steady aim anyway but the guns aren't overpowered <laughs> usually um, but yeah and you look at the 1887s, the shotguns, um, and the amount of of stuff that's happened with those when people have been using them akimbo. You never see someone just use one of them. Um, it's all down to akimbo. And I've heard the MLG, you know, players on on Xbox or whatever have have been having some problems um, trying to figure out how to make this game fair. Um, well, fair enough to to play competitively, and <laughs> it's just not. It, it doesn't work because you have stuff like Akimbo, which um, they're str they're struggling with because everyone's using. Um, apparently, I've heard. I just, <laughs> I'm not an MLG player, but everyone's been using Akimbo Rafikas, um, and I love the Rafika. I don't think it's it's too overpowered at all. Um, but when you use it Akimbo, it's. I mean, come on, <laughs> two guns just. It's so, so, so... I'm gonna get really annoyed if I keep talking about it, so I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna stop. <laughs> the, um... Funny thing is, in this game, uh, there's a player, I don't know if you've seen, he's called Akimbo Spray Skill, I believe. Um, and it's ironic, because he's not actually using Akimbo anything. Um, he's he's using a noob tube. And this guy, Eminem Blue, you can see right here, he's... <laughs> He's complaining about this guy using the noob tube, and Eminem Blue is actually the guy who got me with the dual Glocks. So, um, yeah, th this this guy Akimbo Spray Skill, there he is. He was actually complaining about someone spraying with Akimbos. Um, <laughs> it's kind of funny. Uh, I think I get him here. Um, sweet little jumping drop shot, which um, I guess adds a whole nother dimension to the the drop shot, but. I'll carry that on in another video, because because uh, um, at the end of this video, I think. Um, but you can see the general consensus with with this game is that people hate akimbo Glocks. I mean, everyone that I speak to, everyone on my Steam list, uh, fucking hates them. <laughs> they just need to go, man. Um, but yeah, you can you can see this is the end of the game. I got a score of 18 to the three. It's not brilliant, but I had some fun. Um, I promised to get some more games up after I finished all this this work that I have to do. But yeah, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe as always. Um, kind of lost the momentum on my subscribers, but I'll hopefully get it back. <laughs> so yeah, I'll see you next time.